Hi, my name's Hannah and I'm an engineer at Claytex Services Limited. This is going to be a short demonstration to show you how Rectify could be used to manage your requirements more effectively. I will show you how to create a project in Rectify using a variety of data sources. This will illustrate just how easy it is to integrate Rectify with the tools you already use in your organisation. I will then walk you through the basics of the analysis performed, which includes traceability and impact assessments. I will then highlight the reporting feature, which means that you can create customised reports in a few clicks of a mouse. This demo is going to be based on a project to develop a cruise control system. It is a multi-level project with data sources including Microsoft Word, Simulink, C code and Modelica code from Dimmler. So let's begin by creating a new project in Rectify. This will be called Cruise Control. This automatically opens the configuration editor so we can begin to add documents to our project. To do this, you click the Add a Document button and drag and drop it onto the working area. We then need to populate some details about the document. This is going to be the system's requirement specification. We then need to apply the correct type of analysis. This is what allows Rectify to extract data from this particular data source, in this case a Word document. We then need to select the actual file. And that's it, the document's been added to our project. As well as the Word type that I've shown you here, Rectify includes over 60 inbuilt analysis types. This means that Rectify can immediately interface with the tools you already use. This includes tools to work with code, design, office applications, project management, requirements management, testing and UML. These types use either Perl regular expression or XML to search the document for data such as the requirements ID or the requirements text. Using the same method that I've just shown you, all the other documents have been added to the project. As you can see, a variety of the inbuilt analysis types have been used. All these types can be customised to meet the specific needs of your documents. You may also have noticed that links have been added between the documents these define their relationships. However, there is one link missing. This is between the test report and the system requirement specification. And to add this link couldn't be easier. All I do is click the Add a Cover button and drag the link between the two documents. The link that I've just added means that Rectify will expect every requirement in the system requirement specification to be covered at least once in the test report. And that's it, our project is complete. All I need to do is click the OK button to analyse it. So let's take a look. The first view provided by Rectify is the management view. This gives us a global overview of the project and contains some useful information. Firstly, the status bar which is a graphical representation of the project's health. The green section gives us the number of requirements without error and the red section the number of requirements with error, all compared to the total number of requirements in the project. The project overview gives us the coverage analysis results. The percentage on the link is a metric to indicate the number of requirements in the covered document which are referenced in the covering document. The rules check lists all the rule violations in the project. So for instance, uncovered requirements are those requirements with missing references in the related documents. There are a number of inbuilt rules within Rectify which will highlight typical issues, but you can also define your own rules. 
The coverage analysis view lists all the data that has been extracted from your documents. When you select an item, it will list all the related information in the directly upstream and downstream documents, so up and down one level. Also, any rule violations will be highlighted in red. The impact analysis view is very similar to the coverage analysis. However, this time when you select an item, all the information in the upstream and downstream documents will be listed. This is useful for assessing the impact of a change across the entire project. The graphical view, as the name suggests, is a graphical representation of the entire project, where the documents are arranged in a tree structure, which includes all the traceability information. When you select a requirement, you can then trace through all the links to the related elements. Another key feature in Rectify is that it will pick up any modifications to the source data, which makes it hassle-free to keep your project up to date. In any of the views that I've shown you, you can select a document for modification, so let's go ahead and modify the system requirement specification. I will change the requirement ID from 3 to 30. As you can see, Rectify has picked up the change and asks if we want to reanalyse the project. And there we go, the change has been made. Another key feature in Rectify is report generation. Rectify includes a number of inbuilt report templates. This makes producing regular progress updates and documenting traceability evidence really quick and simple. All of these templates can easily be modified to meet your organization's specific needs. To illustrate, I will produce an analysis report for the project that I've just created. And there you have it, in a few clicks of the mouse I've created a report that contains all the coverage analysis information and lists all the rule violations. So that brings us to the end of this brief demonstration of how Rectify works and how it could help your organisation manage its requirements more effectively. There is further information about Rectify on the Claytex website at www.claytex.com Alternatively, call or email us using the details on the screen. Thank you for watching.